thank you so much for watching Cindy Lee TV. We're gonna talk about everything, wanna be everything. I mean, like another happy hour with Angelique. I haven't done this in a while, like in a long time. I was pregnant last time I've done this. So y'all are probably new to it. Um, well, a lot of y'all probably are new to it if you're new to my channel. And if you are, hey boo, hey, hey, hey. Pretty much what this segment is, like a bitch drink her little wine, hence why it's called happy hour. I read you guys' stories and or advice. So before then I only did advice, now I'm gonna actually do stories because I think eventually I'm gonna split the stories into another segment. I really at some point want to make y'all stories come to life. So if you have a story, a crazy ass story or a crazy ass situation that you need to get out of and you don't know how the fuck to get yourself out of that, you can either text me, email me, or you can iMessage me. She says, Hey hon, I love your YouTube video. I'm in college and fell deep in love with this guy who I ignored the signs of being totally wrong for me. He tried to rape me at a party while I was drunk. He apologized the next time I saw him and told me he didn't want me to think of him like that. I then started falling in love with him even though we barely text. Girl, long story short, he ended up giving me chlamydia. Y'all need to close that door. And I need a drink already i didn't know until my boyfriend now went with me to go get tested girl i'm back in school now and i just feel so bad and depressed and stupid over the whole situation i see him all the time at parties and it's so awkward i really saw a future with him and i can't believe i let my emotions blind me i told my friends when it happened and i hope for the support but one of them has always has always felt like she was in competition with me so now i guess she feels that she has won she says shady comments about it and it really lowers my self-esteem. I wanted to be a model, but now I feel like I am less perfect to do so because of the whole chlamydia thing. I also feel if I did become successful at modeling my friend, in quotation marks she put, would tell everyone to make me look bad. I no longer feel I can be successful. I was wondering how you got over your situation. I know this is kind of personal. This is kind of a personal question. I've just been really down in the dumps. Um... And y'all can tell this is old because this is around the time that I posted my my STD story. And um, I'll post a link to that and I'll post a clip or whatever about it on here. But I did a story time um, about two years ago about um, why I left Shorty. And whenever I said Shorty, I mean my daughter's father. Hold on, y'all. And so um, the main reason why I left him is because I found out that he was cheating. And so the reason why I found out that he had been cheating is because I found out that I had an STD. And so, um, and chlamydia to be exact. And I knew I hadn't been sleeping around. He was the only person that I had been with. And so I was actually pregnant at the time. Well, I was I was pregnant at the, the time I got it, but I didn't know I had it. Like I got that towards the end of my, my pregnancy, like towards the, the um, third trimester well in the third trimester that's when I got it because y'all know whenever y'all go to like y'all well y'all may not know but women whenever women go to the their appointments like they get checked up regularly and stuff so they'll know they had an STD so that I got, got the STD check or whatever the first couple of months nothing and then it wasn't until my last appointment which is my first appointment after um, I had my daughter that you know they discovered that I had that and so I, I did the math and stuff and I, I found out when I got it because him and I Jordan and I hadn't really been having sex so it was only one particular time that I knew that he gave that to me and so yeah I got it but her question was how did I get over it um well first of all before I address that girl you could become with anybody you want like it doesn't first of all it doesn't matter what you contract it. It doesn't matter what type of illness, anything. Like, I know that's not like the ideal thing that you want to hear or want to find out about yourself, but that don't got nothing to do with you becoming a model and being successful, girl. Like, do you not know that there's people who is successful out there who has HIV and still successful? And, you know, I'm not, not like, I'm not trying to boast about having an STD. I'm not saying that because hopefully by this time you have already gotten it cured. But... It's a cure for disease, sweetheart. It's it's not the end of the world. You made a mistake, period. I mean, I mean, you know who you were sleeping with, so that wasn't a mistake. But you chose the wrong person to sleep with, pretty much. So that part was a mistake. And so, um, your life is not over with. Fuck that bitch, whoever, you know, that friend that you put in quotation marks. Fuck that bitch. If a bitch gotta be in quotation marks, then that means that bitch need to be 
I hope you ain't still her friend because clearly she's not a friend if you feel like she would potentially spread your business out. Pursue your dreams, girl. It is not the end of the world. You can do what you want to do. And I hope you stop fucking with him too as well. Okay, so I know this might sound bad and I hope you don't judge me even though I'm in the same situation that you were in, LOL. No judgment around here. Keep it cute in the comments too because I know y'all, y'all, y'all mouth is motherfucking reckless. So keep it cute in the comments. Sorry. So I'm 15 and my boyfriend is 21 and I may be pregnant. I seen your video from a while back when you were 15 and pregnant by a 23 year old. I would like to know if he ever came to the doctor's appointment and if he signed the birth certificate because my boyfriend wants to participate in all of that but I'm scared and I don't want him to go to jail. He keeps saying I'm not gonna go to jail but I keep telling him it's illegal. We live in Georgia by the way. And plus we're black. They just want any reason to make us look bad and to lock him up. True that girl, true that. I turned 16 in November and he turns 22 next month. So by the time I have the baby, I'll be 16. My mom likes him and is okay with us dating, but I don't know how she'd react to finding out I'm pregnant. He works a good paying job and I'm applying for a job. So hopefully by the time the baby gets here, we would have a good amount of money saved up so we can have an apartment, so we can get an apartment and take care of our child. I'm very mature for my age and I understand that a child is a lot of work, LOL. I have eight siblings, so I know. I'm going to finish school online, but right now I'm just worried about making money so we can be sure to provide for our family, and so is he. Okay, I'm going to be real. I was scared, too. I was 15. He was 23. Well, I was 16, and he was 24 at the time that I had my baby, but I was 15, and he was 23 whenever I got pregnant. I was afraid. Um, Did he go to my, any of my doctor's appointments? Yes, he went to one doctor's appointment, or maybe two, but one that I could really just know, like I could remember off the top of my head he went to one uh the doctors didn't say shit like they just there to do their job and whatever but um they didn't say anything um now i was nervous about the birth because like obviously if you sign a birth certificate you gotta put your age you gotta put your name you gotta put your date of birth all of that um but he didn't even sign the birth certificate so um the only person that's on my daughter's birth certificate is me still to this day even though we have established paternity i did give her his last name it's hyphenated with my last name but i was afraid um but luckily he just wasn't there and i only, honestly we didn't even discuss about signing the birth certificate i don't think and if we did i'm pretty sure he said that he wasn't gonna sign that shit because of my age so i hope everything works out like yeah you young stay in school if you gotta do that shit online i did that shit online too so do that shit like don't don't give up she titles it should I feel bad, what should I do? I want to start off by saying I love you and congratulations on the baby. Obviously, at the time that she sent the email, I was still pregnant with my son. Um, I'm in a three-year relationship and we are engaged. I have been faithful to him our whole relationship. Anyways, he has cheated on me more than two times and for the past four months, he hasn't been treating me right. Sometimes I feel really, really dumb for loving him. We're supposed to get married this year, but I put the wedding on hold. I thought that deep down I had forgave him for his cheating, but I guess not because a few days ago, I hooked up with my ex and the sex was good. I confessed to my fiance and we are currently trying to work things out. Should I feel bad for getting revenge? What should I do? Please help. Damn, girl, you been cheating and shit. Should she feel bad? Well, yeah, you should definitely feel bad. And I say this because cheating is cheating. It doesn't matter what that person did to cause you to cheat, what they didn't do to cause you to cheat. It's still motherfucking cheating. So just like he should feel bad for cheating on you, you should feel bad as well. And only because two wrongs don't make a right. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say, yeah, girl, you should have fucking cheated on, on him. Like, he deserves that shit. Like, nobody deserves to be cheated on no matter how bad of a person that, that they are. Nobody does. They don't know me. I've been there, done that. So, like, that's why I could never see myself cheating on nobody. Because, like, cheat for what? What he did was fucked up. If I feel like I need to fuck another nigga, I need to leave him the fuck alone. If y'all are not going to be able to work it out to where you trust him fully 100% and he trusts you 100%, then y'all just not, y'all don't need to be together. Nothing is worse than being in a relationship with a person who simply doesn't trust you or you don't trust them. First of all, I wanted to say that I am so glad I subbed to your channel. I love your videos. Thank you. Um, so this is what I'd like some advice on. I've been dating a guy for about six months, and when I was thinking about it, he's really the only one that has treated me the way I wanted to be treated. I want to be treated. However, I recently found out a very disturbing fact about him from some people who've known him much longer than I have. Bitch, what you found out? They told me that he was a bully in high school, but... I was like, I don't really care because a lot of people used to used to be bullies in school. 
And then they said that near the end of his senior year, he fought some guy and the guy was naked because he was in the shower after a gym class or something. He knocked the guy out and then cut his penis off. Penis off. Bitch. Let me finish. Mm. He knocked the guy out and then cut off his penis. I honestly didn't believe it. And also, I would think someone would be in prison for something like that. But when I asked him about it, he admitted that it was true. Now he's telling me he's going through some counseling and is a changed person. But still, I don't know if I want to even be with him now if he could do something like that. And also, it wasn't all that long ago, and he's 22. So, yeah, I know people can change, but that is crazy. If you have any advice, I would be grateful. Girl, <laughs> I didn't know what she was going to say, but I definitely didn't expect her to say that. I mean, your past is your past. Honestly, to be truthful, like, yeah, that's some fucked up ass shit, but... Because some people probably would think, like, oh my god, they're just despicable. I would never be with somebody that does something like that. Like, or some people might think, okay, well, bitch, they ain't had nothing to do with me. Like, yeah, well, it was fucked up, but at least he admitted it and he, you know, went through counseling through it and stuff like that. And now he's okay. I'm gonna give him his props because he admitted to that shit, like, from the looks of it, like, as I was reading it. And it's not that he hid it from you either. He just didn't tell you, man. I wouldn't really come out and tell nobody that either. Like, hey. I chopped the nigga dick up, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that, but, um, at least he told you, at least he was honest, I wouldn't trip too much about it unless he just start going on a dick chopping rampage, but other than that, girl, it's okay. Weird, but it's okay. Hey, I need advice about my current relationship. We've been together since September 27th of 2018. Before we started dating, he was showing me different in the first couple of months. He was still doing shit that I was used to, but once we hit month four, that's when he started changing. He doesn't take me anywhere anymore, buys me things, which is no problem because I have my own money. He doesn't do the things that boyfriends does anymore. I've broken up with him, but because I love him, in quotation marks she put, um, I keep going back and I honestly feel like he's cheating on me and I need to break up with him only because I can't trust him. I'm only 18 and a freshman in college, but I honestly don't know what the fuck to do at this point. She sent me a few screenshots. But last night, I was over there and we were smoking and stuff, but while we were rolling up or whatever, he received a text from somebody with this emoji. And I, oh bitch, I'll put the emoji right there. So the tongue emoji, that's, that's what, that was the name of the person. I didn't want to say anything and only cause his family was there and I didn't want to make a scene, if that makes sense. But it's shit like that, that makes me question him. So I don't know if he being truthful or if he's just a good ass liar, but I'm going to send you the screenshots. And so she's gonna send me some of the screenshots and he's saying that's my ex she really crazy as fuck and i don't social <laughs> let me tell you something anytime i do anytime you anytime you ask the nigga about a bitch and the first thing they say was oh that's my ex oh she's crazy that's because they fucking her it, it ain't that many crazy bitches in the world who are just gonna do crazy shit say crazy things and you not fucking her or fucking with her like let's be clear like niggas y'all need to y'all need to cut that out because that that is an old ass old-fashioned ass like i hope us females not falling for that shit. as a matter of fact just for for kicks i said i wasn't gonna post the screenshots but bitch let me just show y'all how, how niggas just this is just a prime motherfucking example like i don't know what his name is but we gonna call him fuck boy because he's a motherfucking fuck boy like who this nigga gonna say and i quote and y'all can read along with me i'm glad i stepped to the side a little bit so y'all can see that so he gonna say um but she was the mother of my child that we lost a long time ago so that's why she acts like that i don't tell her anything that goes on in my life because like i said she crazy so when she posted that shit i just liked it and kept it moving i'm sorry for doing that baby but i'm most definitely not cheating on you right i definitely would have lost my shit of the shoe was on the other foot. I put you in an embarrassing, fucked up situation and what I did was wrong and fucked up and I know. Then he said, yes, I have spoken to her, but we haven't had a full blown conversation or anything. And I'm not- Six and a half hours later. Family and all my homeboys and two homegirls and anyone- A few inches later. Anyone else close to my life know- Few moments later. Anything to everything outside of- So basically, he just lying. Let me tell you something. Anytime I need to tell you that, oh, we had a baby together. We lost a child. Like, my condolences goes out to you and your family, sweetheart. Motherfucker, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I've, I've lost a child myself. So, I understand. But that is not an excuse for a bitch to think that they could just talk shit 
so they're gonna torture me like like girl sis if you don't read between this let me tell you something i'm reading between it and anybody else comment below if you read between that bullshit because that's what niggas do fuck your history fuck her uterus guess what we're together now if you can't simply put her in her place instead of just not telling her anything instead of liking the tweet like the nigga you could kick rocks you can go ahead and be with her mourn together it sounds fucked up for me to say it but the fact that niggas like that shit just made me upset because niggas really like use that shit to their advantage like say a fucking sad ass story or a sad ass situation as to why they're still keeping in touch with their ex i don't care i don't care if y'all almost died together fuck that if y'all wanted to cherish and hold on to the memories that y'all had y'all could have stayed together my nigga what, what am i here for you know what i'm saying so girl i hope you're in between that line and uh girl see that's why i like the text message and stuff so y'all can just text simply text me back and give me updates if you're watching this text me back and just let me know what, what you what you've been doing these past few days because i hope you ain't been doing him i hope you him alone because he is full of shit girl i don't have any problems with my parents every time they argue they want to put me in the middle i'm only 17 yes i am very mature i've always been that way but they get mad at me when i say i don't want to be in the middle i love my parents but i don't know what to do can you give me some advice p.s i love you in your videos period bitch thank you for watching but why are your parents putting you putting you in the middle of this situation like you ain't got nothing to do with that shit uh, I just keep saying it like, look, mama, daddy, I love y'all, but y'all can't keep putting put me into y'all mess. Like, this is y'all marriage. Like, y'all got married. Y'all ain't married me. I ain't married y'all. Fix that shit. If y'all can't fix that shit, I don't know what to tell y'all, but just leave me the fuck out of it. Like, you, you grown enough to tell them, like, look, and if they get mad, then they just gonna be too mad as motherfuckers. Like, be mad at each other, not me, because, like, what do I have to do with anything? So... You're not wrong. If I constantly repeat myself, eventually that motherfucker gonna understand. So if you constantly repeat yourself to your mama, to your daddy, let them know that you ain't here for the show. They gonna eventually get that shit. Like just tune them out. Like if they try to talk to you, just like bring another subject up. Like do something. But they can't keep putting you in the middle of their bullshit, girl. I'm a lesbian and wanting to come out to my conservative homophobic family. I'm scared of what they would think and how they would treat me after the fact. I'm very much in love with my girlfriend and we're talking about marriage. What is the best way to tell them? I'm 23 and I don't know if my age matters. I do get why some people feel the need to broadcast or make it a thing before they come home with somebody if they're gay or bisexual. But to me, honestly, if I was fucking with a girl, like, that ain't none of my people's business. Like, if they, you know, I'm not gonna hide that person from them, but if I was into that person, if I was into, like, the opposite sex or something, like, I'm not gonna hide that. Like, it is what it is. They find, they're gonna eventually find out anyway, right? So, I would just be bringing my girlfriend around, like, this is my girlfriend. I can't stress the fact that you're grown enough. Like, you're grown, so... You don't have to feel the need to tell them, but if you want to tell them just out of respect, which is understandable as well, then do so. Just be like, oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how y'all gonna feel about this, but I'm just gonna let y'all know. I bitch like cookie. No, but for real, like just just be make it casual. Don't make it a thing. I I feel like a lot of people make it a big deal, and it might be a big deal because like of society, but we're in 2019, dude. Like. Come on now, if you still tripping because somebody likes to eat cat instead of suck dick, then you need to work on you. So if you have any stories, once again, you can iMessage me at angelictalks.com or you can text me at 504-233-7580. Or last but not least, you can just go ahead and do the old fashioned way and send me an email at angelictalks.com. So I hope y'all enjoyed this segment. I really enjoyed reading this cause I really can't believe he cut that nigga dick off. <laughs> So like I said, if y'all got any crazy stories, eventually I'm gonna like I'm a, I want to do something different, okay? I'm trying to do this do I'm trying to do something different when it comes to this YouTube shit because I just want to be a different ass bitch, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna start bringing y'all story times to life. So just like I bring my story times to life, at, at least try to. I know I'm not the only one who be having these stories, so that's why I want to give y'all the opportunity to share y'all story. If y'all feel like your story will help somebody else, share it. Let me know. Text me. I message me. Email me whatever the fuck y'all know we i got all different type of ways you can contact me bitch like until then i want to thank you guys so much for watching um once again this is really really fun to do so hopefully i can keep this going and um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already because not only do you want to subscribe because of my stories but yeah let me tell y'all y'all think my stories be crazy some of y'all stories be crazy too so um stay tuned and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video peace